Mm-hmm. So welcome back to Why in the Morning, Queen's Wednesday on Why in the Morning. My name is Barry Moses, or it's Barry Moses on every social media platform, and it's time for strength of a woman. So many people say discrimination is uh, as a result of ignorance, and people say it's inherited. So I have ladies uh, from the Rare Beauty organization, and they're here to demystify this and to tell us more about their projects. Karibu Nisan. Thank you. All right, so your camera is uh, number four. Uh, you can introduce yourself mm -hmm. since you are here first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, my name is Mary Mokami. Uh -huh. I'm an events organizer by profession, mm -hmm. and I run a company called Perigon Events, and I'm also the co-founder of Rare Beauty. Mm -hmm. I'm very passionate about climate change, um, community development, mm -hmm. and service. Yes. Climate change, community development, and service. Yes. Wonderful. How about you? Um, I'm Sauda Bashir. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm a customer care mm -hmm. at uh, Safaricom, mm -hmm. social media, mm -hmm. and um, you have a person who tweets <laughs> <laughs> with a lot of distress. <laughs> so, so, so. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm also a co-founder with uh, Mary, mm -hmm. and uh, I really like uh, fashion. Mm -hmm. I also like. Um, to bring awareness a lot mm -hmm. about disability mm -hmm. and to see integration. Integration is your passion. Yes. Karibu Nisana. And uh, this is called Strength of a Woman, as you can see. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, you, you ladies are very strong. And uh, I, read, I read what you guys are up to, mm -hmm. uh, including the event, this coming event, uh, on the 14th of February. It's a powerful cause that you guys have. But um, I'd like to know. Uh, how did you get into this rare beauty campaign? All right. Uh -huh. um, firstly, I, I attended an event mm -hmm. by the UN mm -hmm. for uh, persons with disability, mm -hmm. and that's where I met Sauda. Mm -hmm. So we sat down and discussed on the, the problems facing persons with disability and mm -hmm. decided let us start a movement mm -hmm. in order to create awareness and mm -hmm. impact the community. Uh -huh. Yes, so that's how we joined together and started the movement. How long ago was this, Sauda? Uh, last year? Last year? Yes. So, uh, Rare Beauty is like a year old? Yes. The first anniversary. We are going to be celebrating the first anniversary. <laughs> Alright, so what is, uh, what is the mandate? What are you guys trying to push with this Rare Beauty thing? Uh, we are trying to bring uh, awareness mm -hmm. and mostly about our differences mm -hmm. when it comes to beauty. Mm -hmm. yes. So uh, beauty is, uh, is very subjective, yeah? Everybody has their own definition. So you're trying to bring awareness uh, when it comes to beauty. Uh, many a times, uh, you said you're working with people who are living with disabilities, yeah? Yes. So many people discriminate. Uh, what are some of the reasons you think people discriminate against people living with disabilities? I think mostly it's just um, sort of ignorance. Mm -hmm. Ignorance uh, is number yeah, one. <laughs> yes. Uh, right. you, you're not, you've not interacted with uh -huh. someone and therefore you don't know the kind of person they are. Mm -hmm. So to you, you really just put a hold because mm -hmm. you don't know that person. Uh -huh. So cr basically it's just ignorance. It's ignorance, yes. ignorance, ignorance. Mm -hmm. So I've heard the certain cultures uh, that also have the the theories or the some things that mm. they say or things that they believe mm -hmm. uh, around people living uh, with different abilities. Mm. Uh, what are some of the things you've heard uh, when it comes to the, the Kenyan culture or the things that have surprised you? Because I'm pretty sure you've experienced a lot. Huh? Um, I think there's one where pe people assume maybe people with disability, I'll talk mm -hmm. about disability, mm -hmm. um, maybe like Getting kids, uh -huh. like people are very scared of maybe the kids uh -huh. will, will uh, inherit your disability. Uh -huh. That is number one, which is wrong. Yes, uh -huh. that is one of them. I think also the fact that people assume people with disability always are dependent on other people. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, most of us are really you know, independent. independent. You yeah. have your own job. You got here by yourself. And, uh, and the list continues. You have an event coming up. You're yes. an event organizer. <laughs> yes. And uh, your tweets are fire as well. <laughs> You're going to tell me who tweets. Uh, who, who writes those tweets. But uh, until then. Uh, so on 14th of February, mm -hmm. you have an event. Yes. Uh, so this event 
is a is a is a runway event mm -hmm. is a runway show mm -hmm. tell me more about it so as you've mentioned it's a runway show so uh -huh. we'll have um around 10 to 15 models with uh, different who are differently abled um showcase different clothes mm -hmm. we'll have we also have designers on board mm -hmm. So we are going to have like an, an hour session of the runway. Mm -hmm. Then we'll also have speakers mm -hmm. who are also persons with disability. Mm -hmm. Just talk and encourage people. So they all have uh, significant positions in the community. Mm -hmm. So they'll be able to encourage the audience that mm -hmm. they can also make it. Mm -hmm. And then we'll also have bands, mm -hmm. bands and DJs also for persons with disability. Mm -hmm. Some food and lots of fun. Food and lots of fun <laughs> and fashion yes. is going to be going on. Mm. All right. Uh, so uh, how much do I have to part with to be part of this on <laughs> the 14th of February? Ah, okay. Uh -huh. So for the individual ticket is 1500 mm -hmm. which is, of course, inclusive of food, drinks, and a gift hamper. Mm -hmm. And for couples, it's 2500 right. So couples, uh, it doesn't have to be a sort of relationship. Just mm -hmm. come with your friend, with your buddy. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm curious. Uh, all these things that are going to be happening, um, from the fashion to the food uh, to the entertainment bits, uh, uh, is it going to be uh, people with different abilities, or, or it's all inclusive? Well, for the the runway show mm -hmm. is for persons with disability, but mm -hmm. for the audience, mm -hmm. everyone is invited. Everyone is invited. Yes, because our agenda is to create awareness All about right. the persons with disability, so that's why the run we show is uh, specifically for persons with disability. Do we have some designers who are living with different abilities? Yes, they are. All right. Mm. I'd really like to meet some of them. <laughs> uh, yes. so this is going to be fire for real. You too. All right. So uh, one thing I know is uh, the people living with different ability. Mm -hmm. Because your goal is awareness in the long run, yeah. Mm. The people living with different ability, uh, some of them are the most uh, conscious people I've ever met. Mm -hmm. uh, but the problem is always outside, the perpetrators of mm -hmm. this uh, discrimination. So how are you trying to include these people and how are you trying to make a change uh, from, f from outside? Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So um, the ways in which we are creating awareness first is to create events that are all inclusive. Mm -hmm. So during these events, we have people networking. Mm -hmm. So this is the easiest way to create awareness where people will have a one-on-one -on -one, uh, talk with each other. Mm -hmm. The other way is to, uh, we are trying to penetrate the advertisement industry mm -hmm. by having our models mm -hmm. um, sort of advertise companies' products. Mm -hmm. So this will also be able to create a big impact mm -hmm. in the community at large mm -hmm. while seeing, um, you know, persons with disability advertise products mm -hmm. yes and this is going to be a very big step a step for them mm -hmm. uh, so uh, as uh, as it is right now mm -hmm. uh, you're telling me advertisers do not incorporate people living with different abilities uh, none that I've seen so far none that you've seen so far you're yet to see what I'm yet to see even uh, fashion I haven't uh -huh. seen it like on runways uh -huh. I haven't seen it so that's what we're trying to you know like they should be they, they should um, this uh, other people with disability mm -hmm. should also be part of this because uh -huh. you see at the end of it the other people with disability mostly maybe the young generation mm -hmm. so you see i've never seen anyone with disability or albinism or mm -hmm. with vitiligo uh -huh. on an advert uh -huh. or on a runway uh -huh. here in kenya you know so yeah, in kenya i've never but i, have I think never i've seen, seen yes one. outside uh -huh. they're there uh -huh. but here i've never seen any uh -huh. so we so are late to the party here yes uh -huh. so you see even a child who has that they have no one to really look up to mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know or someone reading the news mm -hmm. or a host like you oh, i need a co-host <laughs> yes you need a co-host right. you know? yes. i like that so these kids need somebody to look up to mm -hmm. all right did you have somebody to look up to you as well mm, nope <laughs> Right. Actually, I wanted to be on radio at uh -huh. some point. At yes. some point? Yes. Your dreams are still valid. Yes, they are. You can always <laughs> <laughs> go over there. Yeah, but you see, I've uh -huh. never seen anyone here doing it. Uh -huh. So there was never really a mentor. I'm not saying that maybe I should be the first one. Uh -huh. You mm -hmm. never know. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying the more people see it, mm -hmm. the more people will be aware of it. Mm -hmm. And people will stop staring mm -hmm. and, you know, such stuff. So mm -hmm. the more we put it up, uh, yeah. the more it becomes normal, the yes. more it becomes normalized. So yes. uh, uh, it's upon us. 
every single one of us, the people living uh, with different abilities <coughs> yes. and the, the rest of the people. Yes. Wonderful. The conversation goes on and on. And remember, we are on Facebook at y 254 on Twitter at y 254 channel, and on Instagram at y 254 underscore channel. The topic of conversation is uh, creating awareness uh, around people living with different abilities. And I have people from... Uh, uh, what is the name Rare of the company beauty. again? Rare Beauty. Rare and they have an event on the 14th of February. If you're willing to support, we are going to be giving you more information uh, towards the end of this, but before that. All right, so what are, are the things that you're, in, you're involved in? I know there's an event uh, going on mm -hmm. and uh, there's fashion involved. What are some of the other things uh, that you're doing uh, on the side with the Rare Beauty movement? Okay. So apart from the events mm -hmm. and apart from also the advertisements, mm -hmm. we are also doing CSR projects mm -hmm. where we are going outside there to the community mm -hmm. to, do, to be part of an activity, mm -hmm. like if it is um, talking to young girls, talking mm -hmm. to young boys, and um, going to schools, cleaning the environment. So mm -hmm. yes, that's part of how we are also creating awareness. Right. Mm. Seems you give back like ninety percent of your day. What? Uh, what do you find the time to do with the rest of your life? Um, I think it's just a, a balanced, uh -huh. a balanced sort of uh, thing, because uh -huh. we all have a lot of time with us. It's just mm -hmm. what you actually input uh, in every segment of your time. Mm -hmm. So basically, we are able to balance and handle. All right. Mm. Are you going to be on the runway? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Why now? <laughs> I don't know. I, I like being at the back. Uh, you like being behind the scenes? Yes, I like being, being so behind the So everybody has a role to, 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 to play in this. Yes. All right. Uh, what uh, kind of, uh, what different forms of ability are we going to be seeing on that runway? Uh, okay. Um, so we have um, persons with vitiligo, mm -hmm. persons with albinism, mm -hmm. um, and persons with dwarfism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, I think like wheelchair yes, yes. So all that. Mm. All right, it's going to be a runway for you. Yes. <laughs> and then how can they catch you guys on social media? Okay. Uh, just in case they'd like to interact with you and see what you guys are up to. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. So on Facebook, we are at Rare Beauty Movement. Uh -huh. Twitter, uh, Rare, Be Rare Beauty Movement as well. Mm -hmm. And Instagram too. Uh -huh. yes. Everywhere Rare Beauty, Rare Beauty Movement. movement. What yes. about your personal ones? Uh, Sauda Bashir. <laughs> Sauda Bashir. <laughs> That's Instagram. I'm not really that active on Facebook, mm -hmm. but on Twitter, it's Sauda B. All right. Myself, um, on Facebook, I'm Mary Julius. Mm -hmm. On Instagram, I'm Mary Kami. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Twitter, Mary Julius. All right. Yes. Let's get to serious issues now. And this one is about a legislation that was passed. Mm -hmm. And uh, it says uh, a certain percentage of uh, appointments, tenders, and everything from the from the national government and the county government mm -hmm. and need to go to the to the to the women, the, women, the youth, the county, yes. and persons living with different abilities. Yes. All right. Uh, so far, <laughs> are you satisfied with it? <laughs> First of all, uh -huh. I wish you could not <coughs> have special appointments or special mm -hmm. for such people. Mm -hmm. And the reason is, I wish there was more like from education. If we started from the education system, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where there were no special schools, mm -hmm. you know, like where we all go to the just regular school. schools. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I went to regular school, uh -huh. you know. But because of the infrastructure, uh -huh. it's a bit difficult, uh -huh. you know. I feel you. So I feel like if by the time we are young, there was uh -huh. integration, uh -huh. We would have lived with each other, that we understand each other, uh -huh. but we don't have to mm -hmm. have a special. A the reason special. why they're special is because we can't fight equally. Uh -huh. There's no equal, there's no balance for us. All right, so it starts uh, with the basic setup of, uh, of a society, yes. the schools. Yes. You treated uh, in a different way from other people. Yes. You have to go to a different school. Yes. Uh, whereas in in a, in in a, in a in a world, in the world that you'd like your kids to live in, you'd like mm -hmm. uh, all these kids to go to the same school, to yeah. have infrastructure that incorporates people with, uh, on wheelchairs, people on crashes and everything. Yes. Because right. you'll notice maybe if someone wants to run for a political post, mm -hmm. first of all, people will be like, 
first of all, if you have to be carried on to, to the podium, mm -hmm. so people are wondering, okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> this person can even do stuff for themselves. Mm -hmm. I mean, how will they be able? Mm -hmm. That's how people are going to reason, mm -hmm. you know. But you see, at the end of it, like ignorance, like she said. Yes. <laughs> so, like, I, I. So when you stand for that post, mm -hmm. first of all, you have to explain yourself, like. You know, even if I'm physically challenged, uh -huh. this is this. So you have to start first defending mm -hmm. yourself, mm -hmm. then what you can do for the community. Mm -hmm. Even at work, mm -hmm. when you're, you're going for an interview, mm -hmm. it's the same, same thing. Mm -hmm. People first look at you, your disability, mm -hmm. and judge you with that, mm -hmm. and then look at your CV. Mm -hmm. But still, there's no this guarantee. This is going to come up. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. All so right, see, what, is the, the what is the solution to this? What is the... What do you think is the solution to this? Because I know solutions are, are, are not something constant. They're not a okay. care. Uh, you try a solution. If it doesn't work, you fix it. If mm -hmm. it doesn't work, you fix it. So what is what do you think is the solution as we move from 2020 moving forward? Yeah, I think as she had mentioned, uh -huh. in terms of um, schools, let's mm -hmm. first start from young age mm -hmm. where we have everything incorporated together that's in schools. Mm -hmm. So when young kids grow up together, mm -hmm incorporated there'll mm -hmm. be there won't be anything like a separation or anything hard when they're already grown up because uh -huh. they're already used to each other uh -huh. so it can start from as while they are young mm -hmm. from the education system where mm -hmm. we have schools incorporating everyone at large mm -hmm. that can be a very good way to start that, that when is a kids, very very good uh, place to start yes all right mm -hmm. you have something against the post that i just handed out uh to to, to, to the women to the youth and people living with uh, different abilities so you think uh, the, the the playing field sh should be leveled so that we just compete uh, yes equally equally yeah all right so could I, sorry mm -hmm. could i add something oh, right. um apart from integration mm -hmm. i think even we have so many man-made um, barriers. Mm -hmm. for, ex for example, I had to climb stairs. Mm -hmm. Like everywhere you go, it's very hard for me to access, uh -huh. you know? Uh -huh. So even if I'm coming to this place, uh -huh. I have to Google, I have to really find out about mm -hmm. the place, the uh -huh. structure, even the transport system. So mm -hmm. planning your day starts, starts, planning the next day starts, starts the yesterday. Night, yesterday, mm -hmm. yes. So you have to plan everything because... Every single thing. <laughs> All right. Sometimes I'll be like, no, I can't come. Uh -huh. I might not even go for a job interview because uh -huh. what Mobility. if I get that job? Oh, uh -huh. I can't even get up to the, to new, the building. Uh -huh. Or even the transport. Because uh -huh. in a bus, I can't get on a bus unless I be carried. All right. You know? So people need to be more conscious and aware about these things. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, some people will say... All right, I didn't know, and which I know is not a defense <laughs> in court. I didn't know. When I was constructing this building, I didn't know. When I was constructing this school, I didn't know. Uh, so many people are going to say, I didn't know, I didn't know. What is the solution to I didn't know? Well, basically that's sad because uh -huh. it's, it's such a level of ignorance that really, really... Um, it, it hurts to uh, even uh -huh. say that you don't know about something because uh -huh. everywhere you go, you'll uh -huh. definitely meet a person with disability. Uh -huh. So you choose to ignore that uh -huh. you actually saw someone with disability uh -huh. or the fact that you actually don't want uh -huh. any person with disability to access your building. So I think the more we create awareness, we should also be acceptance of the fact that we are all differently um, abled and we are all unique in our way, so we should be able to incorporate each other. Yes. All right, <laughs> wonderful. So every time, <laughs> every time I hear women, children, youth, persons living with, uh, so uh, with the different abilities, uh, it leaves out one group of people. <laughs> You know what group of people is this, yeah? Mm. It's, it leaves out old men, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> do you think it's right to say our problem is the old men? Uh, not, I, I don't think so. Uh -huh. Yes. It's all of us. I, I mean, yeah, we need to accept it's, responsibility. It's all of us, we need to accept responsibility as a whole. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, wonderful. Mm. Let's get back to this event. I'm sorry that was deep. That was, uh, <laughs> it had a lot of tension in it. <laughs> but let's get back to the event on Valentine's Day. What mm -hmm. time to what time and the venue? 
All right. Mm -hmm. So the venue will be at Desmond Tutu mm -hmm. Hall, which is on Wayaki Way. Mm -hmm. And the time will be from 5.30 to mm -hmm. 9.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. Yes. 5.30 to 9.30 p.m. Yes. There's a runway, mm -hmm. uh, there's food, mm -hmm. there's fashion, mm -hmm. and uh, there's a lot to learn in the process as well. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, so 14th February, Desmond mm -hmm. Tutu along Waiyaki Way, yes. uh, 5.30 to 9.30 p.m. 5.30 to 9.30 p.m. Yes. All right, remember that is going down at Desmond Tutu uh, along Waiyaki Way, and this is on the 14th of February. This is the day of love, mm -hmm. for sure. Yes. Well, so I'm guessing you guys have a dress code? Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. um, there's red, mm -hmm. black, and a touch of gold. Red, black, and a touch of gold. Yes. Royal colors right there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, another time, just give them your social media handles so they can interact with you, All and right. just in case they'd like to, to support Rare Beauty. Okay. Mm -hmm. So at uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, we're mm -hmm. at Rare Beauty Movement. Mm -hmm. Yes. What is your message to, to the viewers right now? Speak to the nation. Address <laughs> <laughs> the nation. Uh -huh. Mary starts. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Since she was here first. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay. So um, I'd urge all of us to uh -huh. be able to, first of all, attend the event so that you can see what we have in store for you. Mm -hmm. And two, to be able to support us as we are in this journey to create awareness so that we can be able to have an integrated society. Mm -hmm. Yes. Integrated society is the goal. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, I would like to welcome everyone to come and attend the show. There's a lot to learn. You're going to meet a lot of people. And it will also help you to open your eyes and mm -hmm. see, you know, that we are all different, but we're all the same. Mm -hmm. yes. We're all different <laughs> and we're all the same. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow, that's deep. <laughs> We are all different and we are all the same. Thank mm -hmm. you very much for coming through and thank all you. the best at your event and uh, all the best in your endeavors. And thank you very much for what you're doing, thank engaging you. in awareness. Mm -hmm. uh, I see the pictures be flashing uh, <laughs> on our TV right there. And these are some of the models we're going to be having. Yes. All right. Yes. Uh, this is one of them. Maybe we can get another one <laughs> so people can get to see what they're in for. All right, as they line that up, uh, Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on Instagram, and Y254 on Facebook. Hashtag is Y in the morning. Hashtag is Queen's Wednesday. And we have another beautiful lady on screen right there in uh, red attire. This is also another model that we are going to be having on the runway. Yes. This is another one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So much beauty. Yes. On this runway. <laughs> uh huh. Hmm. This is another one. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. This is the vitiligo yes. you were talking about. Yes. Oh. Rare and beautiful. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. All these things are on your social media pages. Yes. All these pictures, we can see them yes. and we can find them. Yes. And get to appreciate. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. That is at Rare Beauty. Mm -hmm. She looks very familiar. <laughs> hmm. I know from somewhere. <laughs> All right. So thank you very much once more. And we have come to the end of the Strength of a Woman segment on this particular Queen's Wednesday on Why in the Morning. Remember, there's something going down at Desmond Tutu along Waiyaki Way on the 14th of February. And this one is for the people living with different abilities. It goes down from... 5.30 all the way till 9. There's fashion, there's food, uh, there's music, and there's a lot of enjoyment, and there's a lot of awareness you're going to walk out of that place with. Until then, uh, Kalamival is coming up next with Girls Talk, a hot topic. You don't want to miss it.